Disruptor especially. Disruptor is a great tool uh, just to be able to uh, just just have Pento off when they initiate, just to be that counter initiation. Dropping them Static Storm, exceptional against the Weaver as well, uh, as we all know. So, I don't know. I want to give this one to Hellraisers. At the same time, Penta, the last couple of times these two teams matched up against each other, Penta won, but that was also a couple of months ago. So, yeah. Yeah, I did look at the release of the results. The only thing we have recently from Hellraisers of course, TI, which they didn't do well on, but Penta has been doing uh, fairly okay in, in the recent tournament result. Yep. So let's see where their momentum can carry the both teams. We shall find out before we head Anime into the game. Intro, <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, before we head into the game, quick message from our sponsors, and then we'll be right back. Uh, one thing these uh, early game pauses, or these start of the game pauses, you could say, does is give us enough time to not miss anything despite having to play an ad in between draft and game, but hey. Life Stealer knew. He's like, alright, ad time, guys. I'm, pr I'm fairly certain they don't give a damn. Send out the tweet the boys. <laughs> alright, so Neff, uh, how do you think the lanes will shape up here for both teams? Uh, well, I was completely wrong about uh, where the Murana was going. Uh, <laughs> looks like that Murana is going mid. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I feel like uh, Murana in the mid lane isn't as strong as it used to be, or a lot of other heroes could be in the same position. Uh, it's going to be matched up against Storm, who's going to be finding a lot of pickoffs fairly easily against this team. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I, I really don't think Penta's going to do too well in this game just based on uh, lineups and uh, where each hero is going, but we'll see. Alright, some early, early wards being placed already here, and it's, it looks like it's actually going to be that four position weaver on our men, or is, is this something else? Uh, okay. Well, carry is the life stealer, obviously, so he's going to be taking up that spot. And uh, the clockwork for me has offline items rather than roaming items at, at this point. So yeah, uh, we'll see how that looks out. We've, on the side of Hellraiser, of course, we've got the Venomancer, 33. He's normally the offlane player, this time is stick him in the safe lane. Also interesting uh, how that works out. But of course, Sexy Bambo is more of an offlane player, player standing in for swift endings, so 33. Picking up that mantle. Oh yeah. <laughs> Zephyr fan over here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you do you, man. I'm I'm not gonna kink shame <laughs> in 2017. Neff, no, you know how I feel every time you make a joke like that. Oh, come on. My humor is great. I'm just a crazy, <laughs> wacky boy. Alright. But, uh... Yeah, I just wanted to interject real quick. It's not that uncommon for players to be switching up their roles, or what lanes that they play in, uh, recently. It seems like a lot of players have been trying to learn multiple roles, and I think uh, that was OG's plan, picking up Resolution. But uh, we'll see how that goes in the upcoming Dota season. Run for us. But uh, we'll, we'll worry about that. We'll discuss that later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, yeah, there might not be too much time, middle lane, will we have another hero roaming in DNZ. All he has to offer is a slow, but it could be quite useful if he found an opening, but so far Milan and Kaiser sitting in good positions.
Mm -hmm. I'll agree with you on that one, as much as I think that uh, Storm Spirit, not in the laning phase, but oh, as far as like... Milan. Might be the first oh. blood here, Armin and DNZ just running straight into him. A couple more right clicks shoot through the trick, Buckner living away. The arrow will actually be the one finishing it off. We're just talking about how important it is <laughs> that Nine gets a good start and this definitely qualifies. Yeah. Mm, well played by them, but uh, I don't know, finishing my thought earlier, it's uh, this matchup here, what I think it really makes the impact is uh, what happens right after the laning stage and what Storm Spirit can do for his team versus what... Yeah. Mm hmm Uh, both. Oh, yeah. Well, so far, Disruptor only uh, level 2, holding on to one of the skill points. It was a bit of a rotation attempt, perhaps, in Milan on the Night Stalker, but... Well, before night time, it's kind of hard to pull off either, so he's back in mid. He's not on bottom though, okay, Sexy Bambo just gets a TP out. Nothing between these three heroes to cancel that, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, it's just a uh, genius who had that one figured out before they even came to the lane, I'm sure. <laughs> is, he getting an, yeah, is, is he getting enough out of this offline? I mean, he's almost level 4. He did steal the bounty room though, just at the right time. So that was Are we allowed to see nice. slap in the butt? <laughs> <laughs> well, Milan, it is night time. As you said though, only level 2, limited amount that he can do. Ideally you want to have that uh, either level 2 Hunter the Knight, level 2 Void for the extra damage. Because it actually scales extremely well. But no joy so far. Uh, yeah, uh, this Night Stalker really should have worked on getting level 3 before uh, coming anywhere. Uh, what he can do right now is very limited, and uh, it's very easy for 9 to get away from any gank, especially before the Storm Spirit hits level 6. So Mm -hmm. well, it's gonna take quite a bit of damage. Limbs level, yeah. Limbs level one available didn't go for it. it Might have been a kill with that. Oh, he's in trouble for heroes running right at him. That rider being pretty fast with these strangle boots, but not fast enough. Nine, the leap enough to get him out. And now perhaps some kind of play potential. Arrows available, DNZ scouts it out, the arrow will actually connect here onto the Bat Rider. Couple of creeps still burning, but now the Firefly is out, the right clicks are there, he's trying to make for the TP play again, it will not be able to. The creeps are actually getting the last hit, a little bit of gold shared, but... Well, that's a gang that turned around rather fast. Yeah, not this time, Bambo. No TP out for you. Yeah. 
I was watching that R man come in from the side, simple boogie, but didn't quite commit for it. Uh, I see him. Oh my god, the uh, star ball. Just caught that in time. That's a great snipe, yeah. I mean, Kaiser back even uh, when he was playing with the other Greeks and learned conspiracy and uh, whatnot. He was playing Stormsword there too, and he's uh, fairly competent, but with this kind of a start. How long will it take? Okay, hold, hang on. <laughs> Milan, next one to be gone on. Couple of slows, he's trying to go the TP roads, and he will be successful. Yeah, but yeah, could uh, escape. Oh, could uh, escape by him, but uh, <laughs> Siphon <laughs> dropping you twice. <laughs> Continue, dude. I'm just gonna uh, finish the point and uh, finish the question is um, how how much of a big deal, or how much of a deal is it that Stormsplit is having this hard of time right now? Um, I don't think it mad. Oh. <laughs> Actually, pretty huge. <laughs> they can't catch him up. Uh, right now, their draft is uh, very good at catching people out with the Storm Spirit. Unless these people group up into a blob and try and push. Uh, they have Disruptor, they have Night Stalker, uh, both heroes that are very good at catching heroes out with the Storm Spirit. So, unless Pentar are very careful with their positioning, the Storm Spirit can catch up very easily. Not catching up against the clockwork. <laughs> Not like this, anyway. Night time's ended as well, so... Uh, how do the next four minutes look now, at daytime? Shot comes in, he's getting his batch very quickly. He's trying to bait it out perhaps a little bit because Sexy Bamboo and J4 that was smoked up, wrapping around, but now they might be the next ones on the list. Nine is fairly low, I already used to leap aggressively. So still in a bit of trouble. DNZ with the heals. Uh, it's not gonna be enough against all this magic damage right on top, so they will have to make another trade out of it. Sexy Bambo will fall to a rocket flare, but that's about it. So yeah. Core four core and the bat rod also dying. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, speaking of aggressiveness, Penta. We'll look to make the same kill happen again. The hookshot just coming off cooldown. Gale, ultimate coming through. So Boogie actually traded it away here in the end. But hell, at 33, no way out of this one for sure. Boogie will have to get some extra heals. But still level 1 still. Might still be enough for the stick charges to keep him alive throughout all of this. And it is. Uh, you're right there. Oh, and Moonlight Shadow is out. Amen. That's a much easier target. Leap in into the Starfall. Double one. Didn't actually hit though, and so J4 with a glimpse back. Actually survives unless the arrow hits not quite. That would have been amazing. Bit unfortunate at the very least, but yeah, it's a lot of action happening in top. This bottom lane is still kind of going strong for the life stealer. Oliver just keeps farming and farming. Neff, w when does he start joining? I mean, he has the Radiance queued up right now, so it's not going to be that uh, the classic build that we're used to seeing with the Desolator and the Armlet. Uh, I don't really think that he has any need to join right now. Uh, he's getting all the farm in the world that he wants. Uh, oh, hang on, mid lane. They're going to go on Clockwork here, but 
Well, he has the cogs down. Doesn't, and defense push shot attempted, but still ends up in the river. He will die first, but at what cost? Venomarts is in the middle of that, too. A couple of right clicks will finish him off there from RMN, but it did go for the time lapse too quickly. Meanwhile, silence up for nine. He cannot join in this fight. He will fall, too. The static storm zoning everybody out. RMN falls. DNZ, well, powerless. So is Oliver, but, well, maybe not so much. He rages off the glimpse. Gets a couple swipes in onto the top of Milan, but with no further support, they don't have the control to keep him in. Uh, what was happening? Uh, I guess here? I'm wrong yet again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that they'd take that fight. There, there wasn't really uh, much of a reason prior to that for uh, Life Stealer to be joining. It's very easy for Pencha to be choosing uh, the fights that they want to take up until they get caught out by the Storm Spirit Disruptor combo. But it uh, looks like they probably know that uh, the enemies are closing in on them now because everybody just disappeared from the map and uh, Life Stealer is very happily farming top. Probably gonna take another tower. <laughs> <laughs> There's better things, but uh, we're gonna let Oliver do Oliver. Maybe he knows something we don't. J just do Oliver things. <laughs> Eat the pudge, infest into an ancient. I'm sure that's what the viewers want to see. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> oh, no. uh, let's go turn something Kaiser with a long zip in. Doesn't actually find anybody with the leap. It's still continuing. Does have the haste room to help him out. But uh, most of Penta walking away, but Clockwork while he was hiding in the trees looking for a hookshot, and instead he's the one getting caught out with the Static Storm. Blink Glass is still available if they want to continue this one. Hellraisers. Well, they're back on track. Kaiser is highest farmer on their, on their side, too. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. There's a lot of people here. Nine does have to leap available, but if he gets signs up in Milan, he's not gonna be able to get that off. DNZ does have the ultimate available now, so that might just be enough of a reset if he can uh, get that up on a target to just allow them to escape or perhaps set up for something else. Boogie just gonna straight up walk in, and he's the one being silenced. He has to try and available. The arrow will fly through onto the Night Stalker. Can actually make something happen with this here. They try and isolate him with the cocks in the side. The last of comes through onto Mirana. Cannot provide any damage for now. There's the uh, there's the Winter Scourge Venomata dropping very low and set up for a kill. Nicely done indeed. Milan isolated from the rest of his team now. Oliver made the TP through. Does have the relics, so if nothing else, that'll buff up his right clicks enough. Three kills for nothing. Hellraisers this time. They're the ones who are caught in a very bad position, as it tends to happen when you try and fight into an active shrine. Yeah, yeah not just the four. not just the damage, but letting everybody uh, get into a better position again, like uh, resetting the fight. Like I mentioned at the start of the game, is something Winter Wyvern Ultimate is very very good at. See, going back to the Radiance real quick. Um, <laughs> oh god, Arrow. Arrow lands on the Storm Sword. Follow up there from Boogie. Excellent play. Nine just setting that up. With that interesting rotation that wrap around. It's not something that you can expect really. If you're on a dire side. Yeah, that's pretty huge. Being able to catch the Storm Speed out by himself like that.
well. Uh, and the enemy team just gets to do what they want with Storm Spirit Dead. Uh, it takes a lot of threat of uh, the damage and uh, like uh, the gap closing potential that the team has. The Storm Spirit is just so much, he always needs to be alive. He absolutely can't be dying. So tier 1 mid, they're going to be able to take top always. Who's tanking the tower so that the catapult stays alive? That's how much they want this tower dead right now. They will be successful. There's no rotation there. Instead, they're going to go on uh, this poor little weaver. But well, that's a f uh, four position. Big rotation, and it's definitely worth getting these kind of objectives off the map. Yeah, worth uh, space created and all those kind of all chat things is like what the weaver's thinking right now. I'm sure. It's also nighttime use during the actual nighttime, so that's what we see. Division severely limited right now from the Radiant side as Hellraiser's setting up down bottom. They have a ward in the back, so they see everything that's going on. Can they take a fight here? Uh. Yeah, I mean, no Storm. Storm's TP is on cooldown. If they can take a fight here, they should. <laughs> oh I mean, yeah. He can't really kill Storm Spirit, but Storm Spirit can't kill him either, and Kaiser will have to walk away from that. He cannot man fight him. I uh, kept meaning to get back to the Radiance pick, but team fights keep breaking up before I can cover that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just see. starting the to question, let's be real here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Radiance, uh, pretty questionable pickup just because, um, well, it provides like magic. AoE damage and all that stuff. Uh, Life Stealer is holding most of the net worth for his team, and if the enemies manage to catch him out with like Night Stalker Silence, he's dead. That like disrupted him. Yeah. Bit of a failed initiation there from mine, but set him up for the hook shot with the infested Life Stealer. No big deal there. But now with the disrupted down, can they get the tier two now? Dead Bat Rider, though. Uh, interesting. Arrow to follow up here from the Winter's Curse. More than enough lockdown after the fact to get the damage in. So, another easy kill. Despite the rotation there from the uh, from the Life Stealer, maybe they use that to like set that up. Even stick around, uh, make them think that not just Life Stealer rotated back and pull the trigger there. Milan. Oh no, he's gonna run into them as well. Ouch! Uh, not ideal. <laughs> well, Kaiser, you better not take this fight. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. Four stuff back, Sexy Bambo says, well, gets a last on on Rage Lifesteal, puts him up on a cliff perhaps, and he does. Instant TP out, Kaiser will be able to cancel this one, so now, still, <laughs> this is left his own devices, yeah. <laughs> That's a bit annoying. Yeah, it's this sort of thing I was talking about with the Radiance Lifestealer is, uh, you have your Radiance, but you don't have much else. It doesn't really keep you alive, it uh, doesn't really uh, lock the enemies down or do significant damage. But it glows and it looks really cool, so. Well, looks like he's going to be building that next. No, that's uh, Sanjin Yasha on his uh, quick buy there. 
that's uh, yep. Solar Crest. Yep. I mean, uh, the. <laughs> it's been a couple <laughs> years since you played. It wasn't an item back then. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my day! <laughs> I remember the times where people were saying, Oh, this is not Dota 1, so this is a bug. Yeah, and I never understood that, because I'm, I'm not a Dota 1 player. So. Yeah. They weren't very good old days. They were very yeah. dark times. There were like <laughs> four different heroes with the same chain lightning ability. Medusa. What? <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> no, her ultimate was Purge, the single target Purge. <laughs> Isn't that the Shadow Demon thing now? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Boogie actually goes in and gets them back down. Except no damage and them. six second cooldown. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Dude, one was Dark Times, Are you messing dude. with me right now? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's try and watch the smoke geek though. <laughs> that actually hits smoke targets. That's interesting, I didn't know that. Oh, PNG. When that shadow comes out, but double dust. We're really committing for this one, and it's only with the Wyvern. He will die, but what caused the arrow? That's a stop it. Oliver, right in the middle of that, Fossil trying to get it out. Uh, eight, uh, 33 now with a good ultimate, but. Well, the fight might just be over before it can really get into effect. Boogie will end up dying here to the last right click and damage over time. But 33, well, Raiden's helping t take him out. So two for two trade, but I don't know about you guys, but if I'm Penta, I'm happy with this one. Yeah, like I said, the Storm Spirit just absolutely can't be dying in this game. Uh, every death that he gets is just uh, another... What's the word for it? Nail in the coffin? That's it. Yeah. Nep, you're good. <laughs> Still ways to go, about 709 charges, orchids on the horizon, but uh, still needs about as much money as he uh, need, needs an extra orchid, oblivion staff, whatever it's called. Correcting real quick, he goes through. Life steal up up with the static storm, so he cannot get the rage up just yet. But hey, he's pretty damn tanky. Gets some help. This uh, winter's curse, but Kaiser's coming in from the back lines here. Oliver, now he can turn to fight. Sex Bamboo dies first, together with the winter wyvern. 33, four stuff back across as the cards expire. It looks like that might be the end of it all with all of these wards. I think maybe she's cleaning them up, but ah, another decent trade there for Penta though. Is this just a kind of a time winning tactic or like Hellraiser is trying to buy space for the Storm Spirit? I mean, they buy space for the Storm Spirit, they eventually get run over by Penta's heroes. Uh, late game, Marana and Lifestealer are both very strong against that lineup. Lifestealer can just like run them over once he has an Abyssal Blade. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he... Back here, Boogie is smoked up. They really want the tier 2 tower, and Kaiser, they should be just thinking about it. But there it is, the hook shot in the back, Kaiser, well, he'll just be able to walk out. Sexy Bamboo, not so much, despite the 4-staff. We'll just drag down a little secure on the tier 2 tower kill. Yep, and uh, that's another tower as well. Kill in the tower. And, uh, Hellraiser is really limited to what they can do around the map. 
Well, I guess J4 is farming, so that's something. <laughs> up in the top lane, but well, is it the space is in trouble. He needs to go back, fuel up on mana. But it's static storm. The tier three just goes down. Yeah, I mean, uh, they needed the disruptor back a little while ago, but he just didn't have the mana to TP. Well, poking a little bit of the melees. <laughs> been so great if they did in no chant. Uh, not sure about this one. Moonlit Shadow, they have the dust, catches it on our men only. Cast on Lifesteal also, but Milan, he's, he's alone, far too far forward here. Outside the rest of his team gets cogged up, forced up across. Meanwhile, Kaiser looking for something in the back, DD. Killing himself up. Nice stacks on absolutely everybody, but there it is, the Winter's Curse to reset the fight. Kaiser, it's kind of low on mana. They get the one kill on nine, which is great, but then the deny is forced out. Four for one. Or well, three and a deny for one. J4 somehow found his way inside the trees, but with this opening, the Rex might just go down here. One buyback, the only one that they had available from the Venomancer. If oh, he's not careful, he'll just get <laughs> brought down again himself. That is a cheeky disruptor. I guess they have no creeps, so... Very well played. Yeah. Yeah, even if he dies here, it's worth of just keeping the Rex alive. But speaking of that, I oh, hell raises. <laughs> Did he just die to the very last radiance stick? Damn. Mm. What? What T3 there, did there wasn't even uh, necessary, but uh, that was incredibly well played by the disruptor to head out there and cut that creep wave. It was a really, really ballsy move, and he managed to stop them from losing a rax with that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I 100% agree with your statement. Uh, pretty well played by the Winter Wyvern to pick up on that and do that again and again, making the storm's life miserable. Yeah. You know, that's Dota though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a less obvious way to actually use that ultimate, so good on them for recognizing that that's the way she can do it in this one. The lasso on the Ancient Black Dragon. Double four stuff, they're gonna keep him again up on a high ground. Uh, don't think he can be forced off by his teammates. So, well, he's just gonna rage TP out the glimpse back at the same time on the clockwork as he signs up. Kaiser in the back, going for DNZ. So far, still alive, and well, the pipe will prevent the Orca damage from finishing him off. Kaiser, she's so, so low. They could only catch up to him. Boogie still fighting for his life, somehow surviving. Just barely. The shrine is up and running. Kaiser will catch a bit of a tail end of that one. I'm um, in. Oliver, though, they're still on the hunt. All right. Uh. <laughs> oh, double, double dust again. Here, as our man goes in, but uh, still get the move speed to come out. Kaiser, well, it's out of mana now. So even if he gets a kill, might not be worth it. Down a half health, double four stuff again from the rest of scenes. That's a hook shot now. On two thirty three k, prevent the ultimate. Go away to usage of the cogs. That's the first casualty in that entire sequence of events. Yeah, I was about to say. I was about to say, boo, nobody dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Armin. Yeah, he did not take the right path back home. I mean, uh, that was a pretty good play out of uh, Hellraisers, just for the reason that there's that there's no way the Weaver saw that coming. He would not have expected them to make a reaction like that just after losing that team fight. Who's there chasing away Milan? The arrow will barely miss. Cox still available if he was a silence. But meanwhile, the Roche pit. The Kaiser comes in. There's the ultimate. Preventing the instant follow up. But Mirana caught inside the stack. Some connect field combo. If they can right click down Kaiser, though, that would be enough. Bring down to half health, forcing him out. Everyone's so, so freaking down. This time around, 
No Shrine, it's actually been taken out by a Penta all nine, gets the Ages as Milan tries to go in to snatch it. Great victory here for Penta despite losing the Weaver. Yeah, uh, solid try by Milan, but no cigar. Just goes to show the, the strength of this double pipe as well, or just the one pipe in, in this particular fight. It's preventing so much of the damage from Hellraisers. Yeah, uh, pretty heavily focused on magical, and uh, the only physical they have is Storm Spirit, who's, again, a lot magical. Yep. Mm -hmm. On top of that, you also have the Glimmer Cape in order to wipe in, so the heal max out now, 6% heal with that extra magic resistance. So even if someone is like sitting in Static Storm and Firefly and damage over time for Venomancer, you can keep them alive for quite a while. <laughs> also, I just noticed this Observer Ward right here. Down in the bottom lane, on the dive side. <laughs> what is this about? Yeah, I'm uh... Yeah, maybe he wants to place a sentry. Yeah. He probably just knows something we don't. <laughs> well, it does give you that little sliver of vision. <laughs> see if someone's coming down that lane. <laughs> right, I may have been joking. Probably <laughs> <mistake. laughs> Uh, yeah, just mm -hmm. give him the benefit of the doubt, you know? That's what good casters do. <laughs> <laughs> Standing still dodge works every time. Okay, Static Storm on two. Actually, nine has a BKB, so it doesn't really care. A couple of right clicks will finish him off if it wasn't for the four stops. Dust in the back here, J4 actually down at the shrines. So instead, they go on to 33. Lasso will prevent the right clicks for now, Boogie. Well, it's also all the way. He's the one finally cleaning up these two kills. Meanwhile, on the other side, well, the rest of them should be able to walk the way out after killing the Winter Wyvern. That Storm Spirit is not happy with him. I really can't be like this. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, the only but, kills uh, they're getting is this with the Wyvern because they have to go on him, as you, as you said, but it's not enough because they keep losing their own heroes in the process of doing that, and well, it's only a matter of time until Penta does that in front of their base and get down these racks now. They're gonna try and fight Kaiser with his own BKB. Will prevent some of that, but the right clicks, look at them, they're so freaking strong, he's forced to get themselves out again. Having done literally nothing, Hellraisers, they get the Venomance ultimate off, but right clicks, just way too strong, another leap forward, Oliver just hit just the ride. Double kill, triple kill for nine as the lightning bounces through. Is this the end of it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, Dark the answer might surprise you. <laughs> Hello. Guys, I'm gonna try again, this time on the Weaver. The Orchid World will finish him off, but what cost? Top racks, last one standing, but not for too much longer. Penta, I don't want to commit for this, and a GG is your call. J4 recognizes with three heroes down, there's no way they can win this fight. Damn. Yeah, uh, looks like your analysis from the start of this game was pretty on point, uh, Bravo.